Welcome into the work of Nigeria Kitchen. I'm here this morning with Chef Julius, and uh, we have a few ingredients here to actually make breakfast this beautiful Monday morning. So, hi, Chef Julius, how are you doing? I'm cool. All right, so what are we making today? Um, Belgian waffle sandwich. Be Sorry, come Belgium again. Belgian waffle sandwich. Belgium waffle sandwich. So, it's sandwich yeah. from Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now tell me, run me through the process quickly. What do we need, first of all, to make um, this meal? We need um, the flour mm -hmm. for the butter, sugar, butter, eggs, okay. and some milk. And then for the sandwich, we need um, lettuce, tomato, chicken, okay. and egg. Okay, yeah. so we're making the waffles from scratch. Yes. Right? And yeah. then the waffle will serve as uh, the, would I say, the bread for yes. the sandwich. Yes. Okay, great. So now, Rami. We're going to make a batter. A batter? Yes. Yeah, so we're using With, our waffle maker. We're using our waffle maker. Yes. And um, we'll mix the flour, mm -hmm. hard up some sugar, mm -hmm. some butter, and eggs, and a little oil. Okay, so we are adding, we're mixing the sugar, yeah. so with the flour, yeah. right? Then we're adding sugar, eggs, um, eggs yes, and butter. butter. Okay. And some milk. And some milk for the butter. Yeah. Then we mix that up together, we set it aside. Yeah. Then for the filling. The filling, we'll, we'll make crispy chicken from this. Okay, how do we make crispy chicken? Okay, we'll season the chicken. What chicken part is this? The breast? The breast. Okay. We we'll season the chicken. Mm -hmm. After seasoning it, we had some egg. What are we seasoning the chicken with? With non um, cube seasoning. Okay, okay. And then um, we have some egg and put it on a dry flour. Okay. So, so what does the stick. egg do? It will make the, the flour, flour to stick on stick the chicken. Stick to the chicken. Okay. And then we we pan fry it. We pan fry it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what what happens with the vegetables? So we we'll slice the the tomato mm -hmm. and then. Um, the, the waffle, once we make the waffle, yes. the waffle will come and then we'll have um, a thousand island sauce on it. Okay. We have some tomato, lettuce, the chicken, and a fried egg on it. Okay, so we have, we're frying one of the eggs. Yes. So aside putting the eggs in the flour, we're actually adding it also and all the chicken, we're putting sunny, sunny side up. Yeah. And we're putting it on that. Okay, sounds like a whole process happening here, but I'm sure it's not, it doesn't look like, how long will this meal take uh, to make? Like 15 minutes. Like 15 minutes and we'll be done. Perfect for a Monday morning because we know you're rushing off to work and all of that. So yes, so we'll definitely be starting with that now. So what do we do first? What's the first thing we were doing? Well, we are mixing the butter. We'll mix the butter. Okay, so we need a bigger um, plate, um, bowl to do that. Yes. So in the meantime, if you're just joining us, we're making Belgium waffle sandwich and the ingredients we need right here on your screen we need some eggs of course we need some milk we need some flour some sugar and some butter that will make the butter for the waffle and then for the filler of the sandwich we need some lettuce some chicken breast some tomatoes vegetable oil and sauce thousand island sauce. sauce right and that's about it so what are we using to fry the chicken i think some vegetable oil yeah Right, so just a, a little Little. vegetable oil and then our meal will be put together. I'm sure this is good for kids, Very for good. parents and all of that because I mean it has most of the classes of food. We have um, our nutrients from our vegetables, we have protein, we have carbohydrates and so much more. So I mean that's what we do here, we serve you nothing but the best. Okay, so let's start up now. Let okay. me get you the... Some water and... Um, some water and uh, of course the chopping board for... The knife. chopping of that. Get a knife and then. So here in the kitchen we chef Julius and we're making Belgium waffle, waffle sandwich. sandwich, right? And uh, we've literally mixed our butter together. Yeah. So here, so now tell me again, just for so people joining, what did we mix here? The flour mm -hmm. comes in there and butter, sugar, a pinch of salt and some egg. Okay, so that's that's flour, butter, sugar, a pinch of salt, and that's some right. egg, and then we make it in a consistency that's not too thick or too thin for the waffle, right? So now we literally want to fry our right. sunny side up. Yeah. That's also going in the pal, like that's on yeah, waffle uh, the waffle. Sandwich. Okay, so now I know frying sunny side up, frying egg is one thing. Now, frying sunny side up is a totally different burger mentality yeah. because we want the yolk in the middle, we want the yolk properly cooked. So now, what is your pro tip for fl frying this um, sunny side up? 
gently break um, the egg inside the fry pan. Okay. Greased with some oil. Okay, so just greased, yes. not not so much not oil. Not so much oil. Okay, so now is that a hot pan, hot oil, or warm? No, warm. Oh, cool, warm. warm. All right, so now let's see you do that. Okay. So you have to be gentle yeah. so the yolk is in place. Right, and we're putting it right there. Yeah. On warm. See, right imme like immediately, uh, the yolk literally starts to form. So now, are we, we're cooking this on warm heat as well, right? Yes, we are cooking on a low heat. Low heat, heat. okay. So, so we're allowed to cook for how long? How long does it take it to get ready? For like three minutes. Three sure. minutes. But now, what ensures the yolk cooks? Because most times what happens is that they do the runny yolk. I know that's yes. a, uh, an option on how to eat it. But then again, we want it well done. What's the trick for that? Just cover it up. Cover it up. Yes, and really? allow it to steam a bit. Oh, wow. So the steam goes right back in yeah. and cooks that. That makes a whole lot of sense. So now while that is frying, we have so our chicken breast here. Chicken. Okay. So. so I'm adding my seasoning Okay. the chicken. And um, I'll be breaking some The egg, egg into it into as well. It so that um, it can stick to the flour. Okay. So we mix that up together. And, um, and mix it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like the fact that the eggs add in some more protein um, to the chicken and it's also serving, serving a dual purpose, so yeah. So now that's all, just one seasoning cube, yeah. nothing too spicy, no. because it's going on a waffle, so yes. Mm. So. And we toss that into the flour. Into the flour. Let me use a... Yeah, let's some. use a fork. The pork will make it easier. So. Yes. So we mix, 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 mix. Not forgetting that our egg, sunny side up, is still on the, on the fire. So we just toss that in. Yes. And then, are we doing that over and over again? Yeah. Are we doing that over and over again? No. Are we putting it back there? No? No. So that's, that's just it. Yeah. And from here, it goes into the hot. The hot. Hot. Oh, nice. Okay, now. So, our Belgium waffle sandwich is oh. on the way, and our sunny side up is actually almost ready. Here we have Chef Julius, and he's put together this Belgium waffle sandwich. Mm, we'll like yummy. you to taste it. It looks good, right? Yeah. And uh, tell us exactly what you think about it. <laughs> I love the smiley face you put on this, Chef. But I do it chop chop because we're out of time. Epic. Yeah. Yes, All right, so. Quick. Let's see what the waffles are like. Okay. Let's, okay, let's That's see how, how far it, looks it goes delicious. while you dig in. Mm -hmm. So there's chick it's chicken and waffles. Yes, yeah, chicken. chicken. This is what I like. Well, chicken actually. sandwich. Really? Chicken yeah, sandwich. I like like nibbles. Okay. Mm -hmm. a stew and pepper person. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not. Uh -huh. Interesting. You can't be so fat now as a stylist. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have like toned arms and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I wore the white red dress today. I had to, you know, I had to represent. What's it taste like? What do you, would you like it? I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take it home.